So video marketing is one of the most important things you can do in your business. I'm going to do an onboarding and check out this product I've just discovered called Videlo. And stay tuned. I think you might like this. It's um, pretty affordable and it's pretty powerful. So stay tuned. Hey, this is David with TechSmart Boss here with another video. I'm going to talk about this product I just found called Videlo. Um, looks to have a lot of great features. We talk a lot about Wistia. You know, I host all my videos currently on Wistia, uh, but they've been changing their pricing model and they're, you know, getting a little bit more expensive um, for a small business. They're moving into a different uh, market space, I think. And I found this product, and if we, if we look at the pricing, they actually have a pretty decent set of plans, a starter plan at 17 a month. That gives you 100 gigs of monthly bandwidth and a standard at 27 for 200 gigs, which is fine for most small businesses. But what I really like about the pricing model is they all give you unlimited videos and they give you all of the branding and, you know, you can customize your player and, and all their cool little applications that they have. And, and that's what's neat about them. And, and, of course, you can do yearly and get a little bit of discount. Uh, but they allow you to do things like lower third animations and they have some templates and it's just a lot of you know, the website talks a, a really good game. What I'm going to do is go ahead and try this out and see what it looks like once we get on the inside. Um, so let's go ahead and start a 14 day trial of their $17 uh, a month option. So I'm going to go ahead and looks like we've got to fill out some payment information on sign up and you know I always prefer to be able to do a trial without that so I'm gonna um, fuzz out some of this stuff with my address so you don't see that and I would just say hey just hang tight and I'll be back once I fill this out okay we're back and the instructions told me to come out here to this app.videlo.com so lots of moving pieces there I mean you know definitely something that they can do to smooth out their onboarding process um, you know, not like it's difficult to figure out, but it could definitely be made to be a little bit more easier for the user experience. So I'm in. I have logged in now, and let's take a look at what we've got here. So it looks like we can create project folders uh, to upload some videos. We've got some analytics, which is always nice to know how your uh, videos are performing. Um, this is nice to split test, so I'm kind of curious to see how they do that, if that's within their embeddable uh, object or something like that. And then it looks like, let's take a look at their integrations. And uh, so they have like a sort of, in Wistia they call it turnstile. In here it looks like they also have some sort of email uh, integration. Uh, and uh, if you're using any of these products, then you're in business. But I don't see, for example, Drip, which is uh, what we use, which is, which is sort of important. And they do not have... Uh, Zapier integration which would be really great I did contact their support to ask them and they said they don't have any uh, plant at the moment so uh, it'd be nice if they would add more in that integration let's go ahead and see if I click inside the sample product project here looks like we can upload our first video so let's go ahead and pick a video to upload I've got one out here already so I'll bring that in and we'll speed through this and, and, and wait for this to upload and render. Okay, so our video has been converted. That took a little bit longer than I'm uh, used to, but it is a nine minute video. So now let's go ahead and click inside here. You really can't do any of the uh, editing and controls until the video is converted. So you'll see here, we've got our video in. Let's take a look. Um, I like this feature where that you could upload a, a new thumbnail issue. That's going to be your, your, your play button, which is nice. You can also control the colors of your, your controls. So you'll see how they kind of slide. So that's a nice touch there. Let's take a look at the controls. Now this is really good how you can customize exactly what you want to show. You know, I can turn the volume on and off. Turn off that full screen. Put a logo on there. Let's actually give that a shot. I've got a, uh, a transparent logo that we can load in here. Hopefully it's a good size. Yeah, look at that. So that's pretty nice. And what I also like is you can put a, a logo link in there. 
as well. So if somebody does uh, click on that, it can take them where you want them to go. And you can also pick the size. Let's make it bigger and see what happens. Oh, okay. So it's a nice, nice uh, design there. Uh, you can loop it and password protect it if you want to put a password on that. And um, that looks like it can probably prevent it from being embedded in places that you don't want it to be. So those are all really nice things. Let's go ahead and save that before we go any further. Um, the other thing I think is pretty nice about their marketing is apps. So let's take a look at that. These things here look really powerful and how you can add in email uh, gates, coupon, note boxes. So if you forget something on the video, you can put a message of it. Let's try one of these. Let's look at the lower third because that seems to be the the neatest feature there. Uh, and you'll see right away it popped in where you can kind of put a name and subtitle in here. And it gives you different styles. So let's see. So you can see the different styles. That's that's really really easy there. And I'm assuming you would just type in here. Yep, just click in there and type in. So that's really nice. Now let's see how easy it is to kind of adjust. Looks like it's going to play for four seconds. Uh, is there a way? I'm thinking I should be able to maybe, this is just a, a move control. But um, I'm thinking there there'll be some way for me to go ahead and make that last a little bit longer. Oh, there it is, timing. There we go. Oh, oh yeah, you can make it last as long as you want. Oh, that's perfect. All right, so that looks pretty neat. Let's go back to apps and see what else we can do. Let's pick a, let's pick a email. Uh, okay, so once again, you've got the email overlay. It looks like I could do it a couple different ways. I'm sure I could edit the video, edit the uh, settings of this to put my own picture. Yep, there I can change the picture. That's that's really nice like that a lot and again looks like I can kind of control where I want that to show on my video and the timing of it and change the fonts so all in all I mean definitely some more exploration to do with this product but it seems pretty nice this is the frame so if you want to have your uh, your video kind of framed in an iPhone frame or an iPad or, or something like that you could do that let's actually pick a frame I'll pick that iPad I monitor there I'm going to save just so we don't lose things. And let's see what this is. It looks like you actually have a a page of your video. But in most cases, I would say you would probably be embedding this video. Let's do a video preview. Yep, and there's the frame that we put on our video and the title. All right, and if I want to embed this, and there's the embed code with responsiveness. So all in all, I'm pretty pleased so far in what I'm seeing about uh, Videlo, uh, especially the fact that you've got the ability to upload unlimited videos. Looks like you can make multiple projects uh, to manage uh, different videos. And you've, you've got, for the price point, for small business, um, you know, the 100 gig and the 200 gig seems to be pretty well. And of course, there's split testing that we didn't go into, but it's a lot of things you could do there. The only down part, the only thing I'm seeing right now that uh, would be a negative on this is the lack of integration. So hopefully, over time, they're going to build out some more integrations. And, and really, if they would bring in Zapier, it would integrate them automatically with over 750 applications. So that, that would be the path easiest path to integration I think they would take. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel or our Facebook page. We publish on both. And stay tuned for more videos. And also go out to TechSmartBoss.com and join our community and check out all the other things we're doing, especially our podcast, where we talk a lot, a lot about how you can leverage technology to grow your business better. Uh, so thanks for watching and check out the ones that come.